I'm in Alston, Massachusetts, a neighborhood of Boston, and that four-story building that you're looking at is supposed to be the future home of Scientology's Boston Ideal Org. They purchased this building in 2015 for $15 million, and it appears to have been completely vacant since. There are no renovations, uh, as far as I can tell, that are going on here. Um, this used to be some sort of office building before they bought it, and it has been vacant for many years. Uh, as you can see, this neighborhood is a little bit abandoned. There are some old businesses here that have become covered in graffiti, which is very common in Alston. And then we also have the scenic Massachusetts Pike <laughs> over here. That's I-90. Um, I had seen some stuff online about the Ideal Org and decided I had to come check it out for myself. Um, I drive by this all the time, had no idea it was here, and uh, there's not a whole lot to see. Um, I don't know if you can see in the windows, there appear to be the remains of cubicles and uh, just no sign of construction whatsoever. I'm gonna walk to the back of the building now so you can see the whole thing. Um, there are some residences in this neighborhood, some older homes and some newer condos, but as far as Boston goes, this is pretty off the beaten path. Um, it would be difficult to get here if you didn't have a car. There are buses that come by here, but I don't actually know where the nearest bus stop is. And there is a train station. Um, I think it's a commuter rail trace. Yeah, it's a commuter rail station, so uh, I'm not sure that it would be particularly easy for anybody to get to. I had seen some speculation that perhaps they were moving to Alston because they wanted to recruit students because this is a pretty big area for students, but they're not located in, they're not really close. Sorry about that. They're not really close to any of the big schools. Boston University is several miles from here, but for a student going to school there who most likely would not have a car, it would be pretty difficult to get here. I mean, unless you had a bike, I guess. But <laughs> there's nothing going on here. And the current temporary org is closer to Boston University and other schools, uh, but from what I've seen in other people's videos, <laughs> there's not much going on over there. So this is the back of the building and they're very large, mostly empty parking lot. There are a few cars parked here that I think are probably just trespassing. And uh, there are some lights on in the building, but I don't think there's anybody in there. So this is it, Scientology's Boston Ideal Org that I'm going to guess is probably never going to get built just like their previous building that they held on to for many years and then sold because they had to pay back the International Org for how much they spent on this building. Somebody does appear to be maybe manicuring the bushes occasionally. I don't know, it's, it's pretty clean for an abandoned parking lot. But I don't see how they could possibly fill this org, even if they did go ahead and renovate it. The other videos had mentioned that there were very few people going into the temporary org and it is in a space that is significantly smaller than this building.
so there are some residences over here. Not sure how happy they would be to find out that their next door neighbor is Scientology, but at the moment, there is absolutely no one here. So this is the state of Scientology in Boston. <laughs>